Hello and welcome to Good Morning Thailand. Today we'll be talking about some of the news topics from across the country. I'm Jay. And I'm Alex. This ad is brought to you by Carzuno, the easiest way to lease a brand new car in Thailand. And we're going to start with our first story today. A brawl between Thai and Filipino trans groups broke out in Bangkok. Chaos erupted early outside a hotel on Sukhumvit Soy 11 in Bangkok when a violent confrontation broke out between Thai and Filipino ladyboys. The conflict was sparked by an incident on March the 5th involving the assault and robbery of a Thai ladyboy by around 20 Filipino ladyboys leading the Thai group to demand justice. The situation escalated as hundreds of Thai individuals gathered in front of the hotel shouting nationalistic slogans and demanding the Filipinos leave which resulted in a tense standoff. Despite police efforts to mediate, violence ensued when the Thai group attacked the Filipinos leading to police intervention and the arrest of an unspecified number of participants Participants. The ordeal which saw the police struggling to maintain order and prevent further violence ended with several individuals being detained and transported to Lumpini police station, though the extent of injuries and the total number of arrests remain unclear. Alex, what's going on? Why do the Thai and Filipino lady boys not get along? <laughs> Why am I supposed to know that? Because you're know. our <laughs> I don't know what's going on. local correspondent. Uh, I suppose. Honestly, I, you know, usually I'd be out there late night on Soy 11, but uh, yeah. no, it wasn't me this time. No, I was yeah. not involved in this one. Yeah, uh, yeah I have no idea. It mm. just seems like a drunken, fueled brawl. <laughs> <laughs> it must it's have started somewhere. Fare, it started yeah. off so nice. I don't know. And then know. it just went old. I mean, I thought it was, this could be like a common place where they could come together and be like, hey, we're all the same. And, yeah. you know. And that's on us for painting with America broad strokes. And yeah, no, it turns out that they're not a monolith no. and they hate each other sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comments below what you think about this story. Why did the fight begin? Every, this story is going absolutely viral on Thai media. Mm. So uh, let us know your comments. <laughs> yeah, no, anyway, so Elon Musk is now eyeing Thailand as the new site for its EV factory. Uh, that's right. So Tesla, the renowned electric vehicle maker, is currently in discussions with the Thai government about establishing a production facility in Thailand following a site survey conducted last year. The Thai government has proposed powering the potential facility entirely with green energy, which could be utilized for manufacturing either EVs or batteries. This move aligns with Thailand's ambition to become the primary EV production hub in Southeast Asia, a region where Thailand is already the largest car producer and exporter. The country has also attracted significant investment from Chinese EV manufacturers with commitments exceeding 1.44 billion USD, highlighting its growing importance in the global EV market. Uh, any Tesla fanboys in the house? <laughs> uh, who, who isn't? I mean, uh, I don't mm. think it's an overall beautiful <laughs> car. Some of the models are pretty cool, but mm. so the, the expensive ones are nice. Uh, yeah. The other ones are kind of okay. I, I don't get the same Tesla hype as maybe in America. It's almost mm. a statement in America. Mm. Like, yo, I got a Tesla. Like, oh, damn, you got yeah. so much money. Yeah, It's like the Ferrari of Gen Z. Sure. Yeah, it's 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 about setting up the infrastructure though for these EVs. Now in the city, it's pretty good, but around Thailand, I think there's still some growth to be done. Mm. Uh, but it's such a funny kind. Of, like, I don't know. Tesla's just such a weird company because it's such a, an overinflated stock price. And uh, news like this will probably make it bubble up again. But uh, yeah, if you're playing the stock market, might be some news. You gotta to watch. get a motorbike, bro. It's not for me. Uh. <clears throat> Tesla bike. Maybe coming soon. Tesla bike coming to Thailand. Mm. All right. Uh, mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to move on to our next story to dip our toes in a little bit of politics. Mm -hmm. Ying Luck is in luck mm. as the Supreme Court acquits the former prime minister of Thailand. Mm. In a significant development for Thailand's political landscape, the Supreme Court has acquitted former prime minister Ying Luck Shinawatra of negligence charges marking a notable victory for the influential Shinawatra family, which has seen its political party return to power after 10 years. Ying Luck, who has uh, been living in exile since 2017 to evade imprisonment over a controversial subsidy scheme, was exonerated unanimously by the Court of Allegations related to favoritism in government contract awards. This ruling follows the release of her brother, Taksin Shinawatra, a key figure in Thai politics from hospital detention on parole. The court's decision underscores a pivotal moment in Thailand's two decades of political strife involving the Shinawatra family and their confrontation with the country's conservative and military factions. This acquittal not only clears Ying Lak of the last standing case against her, potentially paving the way for her return to Thailand, but also intensifies speculations about the Shinawatra family's influence on the current government. What mm. is it with the Shinawatra family and self-exile? 
Uh, I mean, wouldn't you run away if you were getting in trouble? <laughs> the entire family? <laughs> yeah, I mean, one by like, one? Allegedly, of course. Yeah, it's they're just such a big and influential family. And uh, I think anybody, it, it happens in anything with established power structures. When somebody's getting big and influential, the, mm. the established powers get threatened. And mm. then, uh, yeah, they have, they have certain things they can do to exercise their power over you. And uh, so the Shinawatras fleeing the country totally makes sense in that context, I think. But seems like it's safe for her to come back now, mm. so should be okay. <clears throat> um, anyways, on to our last story. Sure. I have a fun one for us. All right. Uh, so there are a pair of uh, births in transit that are getting some widespread attention on Thai social media. That's right. So in a series of extraordinary events in Thailand, two unusual births captured widespread attention. Uh, Kun Titiwan uh, was on a routine journey to a temple in Ayutthaya when it turned unforgettable as a pregnant woman she had just met gave birth in her car. The incident occurred after Titiwan was flagged down by the woman's partner for an urgent ride to the hospital, leading to the baby's delivery in the vehicle. An experienced Titiwan shared on Facebook, expressing gratitude for being part of such a miraculous event. Meanwhile, in the skies between Taipei and Bangkok, pilot Kun Jakarin added an unexpected title to his career by delivering a baby boy mid-flight. After being informed by his cabin crew of a woman in labor, Jakarin, with 18 years of flying experience, assisted in the birth, leaving the plane under his co-pilot control. Both the mother and the newborn, whimsically nicknamed Sky, landed safely, making a proud moment for Jacqueline in an unforgettable story of birth in the air. These incidents, one on the road and the other thousands of feet up in the sky, highlight the unpredictability of life and the extraordinary circumstances under which new lives can come into the world. That's beautiful. Can you imagine, like, I don't know, I don't know if I would, like, be traveling if I was that close to uh, uh, giving birth, don't mm. you think? Like, it uh, might be time for some bed rest or something like well, that. Well, a lot of people do it on purpose, Alex. Mm. Mm. Are you not aware of the United States of America? Anchor babies, yes. You just have to be thing. born there and you get a passport. Sure, but then you should That's probably nuts. get there first. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Like, you probably don't want to be doing it on the airplane. It's a last-ditch effort. I suppose. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Some people just are just, like, risky. You know, they're just like, they have to go. I don't think they're just going on a holiday. Day, because mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine it being comfortable for like a nine-month pregnant right. lady to yeah. travel. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, there might be some obligation or something. But mm -hmm. in any case, this pilot turned uh, into an OBGYN for a second and uh, okay. managed to uh, successfully deliver Sky, yeah. baby born in the air. I okay. like that. <laughs> Well, anyways, that's yeah. it for us. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, those mm -hmm. are some of the stories from across Thailand today. You can find, of course, more stories on thetiger.com. Mm -hmm. uh, until then, we will see you live again tomorrow morning. See you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. This ad is brought to you by Carzuno, the easiest way to lease a brand new car in Thailand.